Today, we're going to talk about some. We're going to talk about why Amazon, FBA, and social media are rat poison to real business people and salespeople. There's a lot of stuff that happened last night, and I called up two of my former clients who were heavy in Amazon. When they hired me, I was to transition them off of Amazon because I've put up videos, I'll talk about that in a minute, because Amazon FBA is not a real business per se of you going out, founding a company, doing everything, finding the clients, do logo. It, Amazon FBA is not a business. You are a vendor. You are a cog in the machine. And I've said this for years. I have several videos and I'll link them below where I talked about the way that Amazon FBA was going. One of my clients barely escaped. He transitioned his business. He tamped down on Amazon and he started to move in another direction. Literally three months after he made the move from Amazon, Amazon suspended his account. My second client got blindsided, got kicked off two months ago. <sighs> Fortunately, we had set her up with some stuff. We had set her up with banking, we had set her up with credit so she can survive, she can live, she didn't have to move, she didn't lose her car, nothing like that. These are not good times for her right now. Listen to me and listen to me well. Amazon FBA at some point is going to screw you over. Cameron's Law. At some point, all third-party platforms act in their best interest. YouTube, because many people are like, well, YouTube is like Amazon. YouTube is nothing like Amazon. You have to be creative, you have to be disciplined, and you have to consistently reinvent yourself and you know, wrestle and tussle with the YouTube algorithm. It ain't the same because you have to create stuff. You have to create content, you have to create video. Ain't even close to the same, but to that level, YouTube, which is the third party platform for creatives, acts in its own best interest. Not too long ago, they cut off the AdSense program for probably 70% of the people who were getting a little check, you know, uh, 10, 20, 30 bucks a month, and then wait until you reach 100 bucks for you to get a check, they were getting some. That's gone. Understand, you've got to learn how to build real businesses which means that you found the business, you find the customer base, audience, target, whatever, you do the fulfillment, you gotta do it all. Because I predicted this, and I will list these videos below, and you can watch them and see just how right I, I am and was. What's gonna happen in 2019? Amazon is following the Walmart blueprint. They're getting rid of people. They're making these gangster contracts with suppliers where, like what they did to UPS and FedEx. They beat UPS up, they beat FedEx up, they got these great rates, had UPS and FedEx running super lean. Now, Amazon has its own planes. This is what Amazon's doing. Amazon did this to FedEx and UPS. What do you think they're gonna do to you? If you start a, bland, a brand, you need to learn how to market organically. As long as you do, because many of you who do Amazon, you do what's called what I call product research. You find out what someone else is selling. You're like, okay, then you go out and get that and you sell it. That is gonna be a very dicey proposition. Many of you who learn the game from me, Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. Once again, as this is your first time here, I'm your hustling godfather. What we do here is we get money through entrepreneurship, hustling, business development, and a little bit of passive income. We make money, we keep money, we protect money, we grow money. You can use, to me, Amazon FBA is a hustle that many people have turned into the main entree. And <laughs> that's, uh, that's just a bad recipe. If you're new to the channel, and you want to talk to me, you're not going to talk to me. And I'm going to explain why briefly. I do live streams where you can ask me questions. Those are free. I create these videos, which are free. So you have that a free product two free access and three below every video. I give you money making tools and books and guides and short business courses. 
I give that to you. I don't send you a bill. So with all that going on, you have got to start digging into the well of you. You have got to start hustling into the well of you. You've got to start becoming a research ninja. You've got to start collecting and massaging data because I know why you want to talk to me. You're, you're smart. You know what to do. You just want approval because you don't trust your own judgment. That's it. And I'm not in the business of approving people because I don't make money to answer questions. I make money to provide solutions and getting into this wild, wild Q and a session that, Hey, I, you, you email me and I answered and you shoot back like five, 10, 20 more questions. At that point, I'm consulting for free. Look, I understand. I used to be, I used to live in poverty. I was extremely poor. I lived in a boarding house. I was homeless. I understand you have needs. I understand that you want to be someone, but sitting down and going on the internet and asking someone who is successful to school you to be your mentor is not the way to go. What you got to do is you got to go out and get yourself some receipts. You must show that you are really serious about whatever you want to do. If you ask me, Hey, Glendon, what business should I get in? I'm going to ignore you because you're not serious. Cause if you're asking what business, that means you haven't started. You don't have any capital. You've not networked. You've not researched anything. You've done nothing. You're not serious. And I ignore people who are not serious. Just it, just the way it is. I'll have an offer for you people toward the end of the video. Now let's talk about this thing with Amazon. If you have been in business for real, and there have been many people who have been in business for real here on YouTube, and all of us are saying the same thing. Don't get into Bitcoin. Uh, if you do Amazon FBA, make sure you have your own website. We've all been saying this. You know why we've been saying this? Because we've been making money the traditional way. Through hustle, drive, ambition, and hard work. We could go out and buy a car and pay cash. We could buy a house and pay cash. And everybody that's in that classification has said the same thing. You want to know why? Because at some point we all have a come to Jesus moment where it's like, am I real or am I playing around? Every one of us have had that moment. And once we cross that threshold where it's like, I'm playing around, I need to do better. Success starts happening. Things start moving because Social media is not going to replace a great marketing campaign. It can be part of a marketing campaign, but it's not going to replace a marketing campaign. 2012, 2011, 12, 13, 14, I was heavy on social media, primarily Facebook, and I did very well. But Cameron's Law, Facebook didn't really care about a lot of stuff back then, so we got away with all kinds of stuff, and we were making money for free, meaning we were using Facebook's platform to make money and not paying them. And Facebook was like, you know, you what? know what? Uh-uh, uh, 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 no. Uh, no, no. <laughs> then <laughs> they reduce reach on everything, on your page, on, on, on your profile, on your group, everything, it got tamped down. Cause Facebook was like, no nah, man, I'm getting some of this money. And to a degree that's fair, but Facebook went too far. Instagram, made a little money on Instagram, but I never really became good with Instagram. So from a social media standpoint, I am not that good. I used to be good with Facebook and that was it. And I realized because I come from a background where you had to actually pick up the phone and call people and set appointments and go present and talk to these people and convince them to buy your product or service. That's my background. And this is so funny. This well-known YouTuber whose channel is dead. Let me, let me be really clear. It ain't dying. It is dead. And I know exactly why. Shout out to Daryl Eves. If you want to be serious about your YouTube channel, go to vid summit, go to vid summit because going to vid summit, networking and talking to people. I know exactly why his channel is dead and he could resurrect it but it would take a huge effort, a real big effort, which I don't know if he's gonna do. And then the same person on his Facebook profile 
is looking for salespeople, salespeople to contact small to medium sized businesses and sell his product. No YouTube, no social media, but good old fashioned business marketing tactics. You know why old fashioned marketing tactics and sales techniques are not going to disappear? You want to know why? I'll tell you why we as humans don't change that much. The things around us change, technology changes, the house changes, but we as humans, we don't change that much. If you wanted to become a great copywriter, find copywriting training materials from the twenties, the thirties and the forties. And those techniques will still work today because we as people have not changed that much. And this is what you're going to need because I'm, I'm getting ready to tell you, your hustling godfather is about to let you know what's going to happen in 2019. We are in a recession. It ain't no doubt about it. We have certain sectors. Uh, retail has been in a recession for two years and now oil and gas have been touched by the recession. Demand is down. It's winter and demand is down. It's winter. Demand is down. Hello. Can you get a clue here? Bitcoin reason Bitcoin is crashing is there's not enough buyers. Why there's not enough buyers? Cause a lot of people don't have excess money. Why don't people have excess money? Cause a lot of people have lost their jobs. If you want to survive and I'm going to tell you something and no one else is going to tell you this. Maybe a few people will tell you this best time to start a business is during the recession. <laughs> yeah. You know why? Everything is cheap. Everything is on sale. People are on sale, materials on sale, resources on sale, advertising is on sale. Everything is on sale. So your money goes much further if you prepare it for the recession. If you did not prepare for the recession, whew, I don't know how to do that. I'm, I'm not religious, but yeah, you, you need to start saying some prayers. You better hope you have a hustling godfather up in your family because it's about to get dark for those who are not prepared, for those who have not put money away, for those who've not gotten out of debt. It's about to be real, real dark, but keep hope alive because there are many ways depending upon where you are economically. Let's say you're an economic classification. Number one, broke dig Danny. You don't have a lot of money. You don't make a lot of money. You need to go below, get the free resources and hustle your face off. Let's say you're in classification number two. You uh, you're paid Percy. You got enough money to pay all your bills. You have a little money left over, but that's it. <laughs> you need to get into one of my courses and classification number three had a very interesting conversation for someone who bought one of the major packages. Man's been in business 15 years, very successful. He only has two checking accounts. We got a lot of work to do there. We got a lot of work to do there. And this is to say that you can still become extremely successful financially if you work because do works, do works. And I spotted out two of his major problems and he's like, I got to agree. I already knew because you know what? I've been there. I know exactly what he's going through. Management is a resource, but without management, you can't grow your company. So what we're going to do uh, for the people who are in hustler undergrad, you're going to love this H undergrad. You're going to love this. We're going to start some business management and hiring courses because first time I hired someone and I was a salesperson, I didn't know how to hire people. I was like shortly out of that board now. So I didn't know what I was doing. And I was just like, fortunately, I got a really good crew. It wasn't because I knew what I was doing. It was because they were good people. Then after that crew, I thought, hey, everybody's like this. Then I, ordered, I hired another crew who was garbage. They were trash. I was like, what happened? And I had to learn managing people, motivating people is a skill set unto itself. And we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about a lot of stuff because we got to get ready. We got to tone up because what is coming is going to bless you or it's going to kill you. There ain't going to be no middle ground. How do I know this? Uh, there's a he's 84 or 94 man who climbed back into a truck. He's like 84, 87 to 97. He's very old, climbed into a truck, 
so he could pay his wife's medical bills after he lost his house and all this stuff. And this is someone who did all of the right things. He bought a house, he paid cash for it, uh, he put money away. See, what you don't understand is one medical catastrophe, if you don't know how the system works, can take you out. Just one. Just one. And this is the largest reason for bankruptcy that many people file bankruptcy. They just can't pay two and three million dollars worth of medical bills. You have to understand with the art of holding what I am doing. I'm not giving you what you want because what you want is bam, you know, business credit, 100K line. You know what's going to happen if you are not prepared, if you're not a real business person, a real salesperson, and you get a 100K line of credit, you're going to go through it, you're going to lose your money, and then you're going to now have a new bill in your life, new stress. My advice to everyone with a little money, take your money and put it in the bank and do organic hustling, organic funding of your business for the first year. Because see, a funny thing happens when you're hustling that way. And start off small. When you're using your own money and you're losing your own money, those lessons stick. They don't disappear. But when you're spending someone else's money, and oh yeah, to someone else said, most businesses got big off someone else's money. That is not true. Most businesses were started in a garage and got to a minimum viable product before they brought investors on. They had something. They had something to show, they had customers, they had sales. That The original founding stage came from the founder's credit cards, money from friends and family. See, a lot of you wanna be investors. Most of you will never be an investor because most of you will never get enough money to be an investor. You, you got $50,000, you like, I could be an investor. Let me, go let me tell you what's gonna happen. And this happened when I was in the market, I'm no longer in the market. My portfolio was approaching $2 million. You wanna know how much I put in there? About 1.8. I was putting so much money in the market because I was saving more than half my income. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not really getting the gains. I get more gains from my business. So I liquidated that position and paid off some bills and got completely out of debt and here I am today. The best investment you will make will be in you. It'll be in you. Cause see, I make a lot of predictions and I talk a lot of smack and I make a lot of opinions, right? But my opinions have money behind them. That's why I'm so cocky because I've made money off of my opinions. I put money on my opinions. And if you just talking, Cause you, you know, I, I tell anyone, it's like, okay, let's put some money on it. It's amazing how much people start backpedaling and trying to exit the room. Like, whoa, no, 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 man, uh -uh, I ain't putting no money on it. Now we getting real. The thing is life is real 24, seven, 365. You can be a fake internet person or you can be a real business person. What do you want to be? You want to be real? Because I'm going to tell you, you don't have to be a millionaire to be rich. No debt. Everything you own is paid for. And you've got two rental properties. That will put you in a better position for retirement than 99% of Americans. Because you have assets that have money coming in that are paid for. You ain't a millionaire with two houses, but once again, the five checking accounts. So what I'm going to do, and this is going to be a freebie. I'm going to put on the five checking account blueprint. The links below, you can sign up for it. And we're going to go over foundational stuff. You got to get the foundational stuff first. You have many people who want, I want to skip over the foundational stuff. You need the foundational stuff. It is essential. So we're going to do that. Links below. Get on that list. And then we're going to talk about some more stuff because uh, I came out of the Amazon groups and stuff. There was just a whole bunch of wine. And I think I came out about two or three years ago. And I was watching a video 
And this dude was saying, like, you know, Amazon by merch was kicking people out. People were getting their accounts deleted. And I was sitting there like, wait a minute. No eBay, no Amazon, more money. I'm going to link all of those videos below. And some of those videos, I was 100% right. Some of those videos, I was 75% right. And a lot of the people who are making these, uh, this is happening to me, uh, Amazon videos, they know who I am, but see, because I'm so cocky, they don't want to mention my name because they know I'm gonna be like, ha, 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 that's cool. I don't really need any accolades. I don't need any awards. My rewards come in cash every month, every year, every decade. Those are my rewards. So if you want to be part of the five checking account blueprint, the foundation of things that you need to do. Because here, here's some news for you. If someone gave you $2 million today and you have bad money habits, you have no way to uh, channel that money, you don't know how to measure it, you will be broke in two or three years. You'll be all in a worse situation because you'll do silly stuff like go out and get a mortgage on the house when you got money to pay cash. It is, all right? So go below. If you're broke, Dick Danny, get the free courses, the free books, get that and start hustling your face off. And I'll see you guys in the next video.